Last week, Microsoft announced an update to the Surface Go, their smallest Surface tablet. The Surface Go 2 has smaller bezels and more powerful spec configurations, but have any internal changes been made to this previously not so repairable tablet? Let's find out. We've come prepared to battle the goopy adhesive we are used to in Surface tablets, but it turns out to be overkill. A little heat and some initial prying reveals the first repairability upgrade. The Surface Go 2's display is held in place with easily separated foam tape adhesive, as seen in the Surface Pro X. This stuff puts up much less of a fight during screen removal and is 10 times easier to clean up for reinstallation. Thanks Microsoft! This Surface Go 2 sports a 10.5 inch pixel sense display with a resolution of 1920 by 1280 and a pixel density of 220 pixels per inch. Not quite up to par with the most recent 10.2 inch iPads which have a slightly smaller but more pixel dense screen. It is a decent improvement over the original Surface Go's 10 inch 1800 by 1200 screen though, especially if you care about bezels. Previous Surface models have relied on battery contacts located underneath the motherboard, making it almost impossible to disconnect power until the last steps of disassembly. Thankfully, the original Surface Go didn't play that game, and this one doesn't either. Just one shield stands between us and the battery connector once the display is out of the way. Some prying with our tweezers sends it flying, and then all we have to do is bend this little pad up, and the battery is disconnected. Now, we can safely continue with this assembly. Surface internals are always covered in tons of black metal shields, and the Surface Go 2 is unfortunately not an exception. We say unfortunately because removing these shields can be a royal pain, requiring careful prying of tiny metal clips, and more often than not, the shields end up too bent to be reused. Someone at Microsoft must have heard our pleas. These shields are surprisingly easy to remove, and we're able to remove them without bending them, so they can be used during reassembly. That's two solid repair improvements so far. Not bad at all for a small update. The modular micro SDXC card reader comes out easily once its shield has been dispatched, but it looks like the other ports are still not so modular. Both the Surface Connect and USB-C ports are soldered to the motherboard. The plastic antenna frame comes off and allows us to get to the one remaining shield that, once removed, reveals the camera connectors. The Surface Go 2's 8 megapixel rear camera comes out first, followed by the 5 megapixel front facing camera, and lastly, the Windows Hello face authentication camera comes out. We disconnect the speakers, remove a few screws, and finally the motherboard is free. This new copper plate is no doubt necessary to keep the M3 processor cool in the higher spec version of the Go 2. Underneath ours, though, is the only slightly upgraded Intel Pentium 4425Y processor, paired with the same 4GB of RAM. Nearby is the 64GB of storage, also soldered to the board. It's not uncommon to see storage married to the motherboard these days, but it is unfortunate that Microsoft hasn't brought their awesome modular storage solution from the Surface Pro X over to any of the other Surface tablets. That just leaves the battery, which, like in all Surface devices to date, is glued down to the rear case. We've been down that road enough times to know it's not worth the fight. We can read the text just fine from here. The Surface Go 2 sports a 26.81 watt hour battery, which is a bit smaller than the iPad's 32.4 watt hour battery, but ever so slightly larger than the original Go's, which was 26.12 watt hours. Compared to the Surface Pro line and even the original Surface Go, the Surface Go 2 has a couple subtle design tweaks that make it a more repairable device. It is significantly easier to open thanks to the new display adhesive, and the shields on the motherboard are much easier to remove and reuse. In addition to that, it only uses Phillips double zero screws throughout the device and has some modular components like the micro SDXC port and cameras, though the RAM and storage are still soldered to the motherboard, and the opening procedure can still lead to a damaged display if you aren't careful. With all that in mind, we are giving the Surface Go 2 a 3 out of 10 on our repairability scale. Thanks for watching our Surface Go 2 teardown. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and get subscribed to our channel for more teardowns and repair videos.